Hi everyone. You know when we take the decision, we want data as well as we want information. But already I have discussed in my previous video also, if someone take decision based on the data and information only, that can be lead to the disaster also. Because if we want to take correct solution, correct decision, we have to gather data, we have to gather information, as well as we have to collect the observation. If not, we can tell that we have to collect facts. According to the manufacturing systems, also we can tell according to the lean manufacturing concept, there are mainly two types of fact collecting mechanism. One is Gemba Walk. Gemba Walk already we have discussed. So today I thought to little bit discuss with you Ono Circle concept. Okay, this concept called Ono Circle. Why this concept we called as a Ono Circle? That is very important thing we have to understand. This concept introduced by Taiji Ono. Okay, Taiji Ono is the person which implement lot of manufacturing concept in Toyota manufacturing plant. Because of that, we call Taiji Ono as a father of Toyota or father of Toyota. Okay. The, this concept introduced by Taiji Ono is named, okay, there is a one part Ono. Because of that, we call this concept as a Ono circle. According to the Taiji Ono, if we want to go for the solution, first, we have to gather the facts. We have to collect the observation. So Taiji Ono propose, okay, you have to go to the operation floor, whatever the area you want to observe, you have to select some suitable place and you have to draw the circle on the floor. Then we have to stand up inside the circle and continuously we have to observe our surrounding. And also he told, okay, we have to minimize the disturbance. When we are doing the observation, we have to minimize the ob obstacles. So he proposed we have to switch off the phone and also we can't talk with anyone. The important thing is we can't keep the handbook also. So whatever the observations, only way is we have to keep in our mind. If we can spend at least 30 minutes Okay, then somewhat of uh, some amount of observations we can collect. If anyone can stand up one hour time period, that means more observation that person can collect. Likewise, when we increase the time, when we increase the observation time, then the number of observations also will be increased. After we complete the observation, then we have to go to the some lesser place maybe in your office area, then you have to take some uh, rough sheet and write down all the observation you have observed on the floor by memorizing. It, it has not any order, just whatever the things come into your mind, you have to write down on the paper. After all things brought on the paper, then you have to categorize whatever the observation you observe into mainly three categories. Taiji Ono introduced those three categories as Muda, Mura and Muri. Muda, Mura and Muri mean Japanese word. Muda mean waste. Waste mean, according to the Taiji Ono, actually Taiji Ono introduced seven types of waste stages in manufacturing, but nowadays uh, the researchers introduced another one also. So currently, we are talking about eight types of waste stages in manufacturing. So we have to go through our observation. Then we have to think, okay, if this observation is muda, if not waste, we can put the W letter in front of that observation. Then we can think about it is undergoing to the what waste. 
Okay. The I am I am telling you what are the eight way stages: transport, inventory, motion, waiting, overproduction, overprocessing, defects, and skills are the eight type of way stages. Actually, I have some plan to uh, little bit discuss about the eight way stages with you in future. In this moment, I am not deeply discuss about the eight way stages. Okay, then Mura. Mura means unevenness. That means our production line is balanced or not. Some people working hardly, some people uh, working with relaxed mood. That means there are some unevenness. So whatever the observation, if you have seen that kind of things, you can put the letter U in front of that. That is mean that observation is undergoing to the unevenness. Then Muri. Muri means overburden. Okay, you think like that. In front of some operator, there are a lot of WIP. Okay, so the production people, then the IE people, they are taking the capacity study and everything. That means that creates the pressure on that operator. Then operator try to reduce the WIP. That will be lead to the damage, high damage pressure dangers. That kind of environment we are talking about overburden environment. So if you have seen that kind of observation, if you observe that kind of observation, then you can put the letter O in front of that. That means it is overburden. Then the interesting thing is, okay, this is like a set of mathematics. That means there are some intersections, intersect. Some observation can undergo to the waste as well as overburden also. Likewise, some observation can undergo to the unevenness as well as overburden. Some observation can undergo to the waste as well as unevenness. Then the very interesting thing is very rare observation can undergo to the all three categories. All three categories. As well as some observations we can't categorize under these three categories. Those kind of observation we can take as a general observations right now all the observation we wrote on the paper and also we have categorized then after categorize we have to prioritize the observations to go for the solutions when we prioritize the observations for the solutions only one concept we have to consider that is called lower hanging proofs that means First, we have to go to solve the very easy problems with minimum effort, with minimum risk. If we can solve some problem, those are called the lower hanging proofs. Because when we're going to solve the problem, we should have confidence also. And the, our surrounding people also expecting something from us. So it is easy to select the a small problem, then when we give the solution for that, our confidence level also increase as well as our surrounding people confidence about us also will be increased. After we complete all the small issues, then we can think about the intermediate level problems. After we solve the intermediate level problems also, then we can think about the high risk, high effort required, okay, problem to so that is the concept lower hanging proofs. So I would like to again summarize all the things what we have discussed today in this video. There are two types of observation mechanism. One is Gemba walk, the other one is Ono circle. In this video, we discuss about Ono circle concept. Ono circle concept introduced by Taiji Ono. So we have to go to the operation flow. We have to draw the circle on the flow. Then we have to observe. The important thing is when we can, if we can increase the observation time, we can gather more information. Then after observation complete, we have to go to the pleasure place. Then we have to write down whatever the observation be, which we have observed on the flow. After we wrote all the observation, 
then we can categorize all the observation under three category muda mura muri then we have to go for the solutions when we go for the solutions we have to consider the lower hanging fruits i think uh, you may got some uh, good idea about that observation mechanism i am expecting to meet you with another video as soon as possible thank you very much to you all